This is how things went down. Isaiah Chance, Alicia Andrews, Sean Gathright, Davion Murphy, and Rashad Murphy traveled from Jacksonville to Tampa in two cars, a silver Chevy Cruze and a black Chevy Impala. Isaiah Chance and his girlfriend Alicia Andrews drove the silver Cruze and the black Impala registered under Sean Gathright's mother's name. Under the mama name. What's good, YouTube, man? It's your ball of Maul, a.k.a. Molly, Molly. And as y'all can see about the day title and thumbnail, we got Fulio and them killers, man. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm getting, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting tired of this topic. I just had seen this video. I'm like, damn, I gotta bring it to the game. Like, Lord, I watched like a minute of it. I ain't even gonna cap to y'all, bro. I ain't about to hold y'all up too long. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, man. We do banger videos like this all the time, man. I hate... For you to be missed out and shit, you know what I'm saying? We be just at that full key. Trying to go up and up and up and up, man. But yeah, let's get into this uh Jack behind that that's behind, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to try to stop cursing, but this this Jack that's right here on the screen, brother Child see, bro. We about to get into him, bro. This nigga just does just dumb. The name Sean Gathright has been unmistakably linked to Fulio's death as one of the shooters, and perhaps the most careless one, from using his mom's car during the hit, Mama being arrested with weapons in his car, Open the car door! Let me see your hands! And even trying to escape an interrogation room through the ceiling. This story keeps getting crazy, and it was all caught on 4K. Sean Gathright caught on 4K. With Fulio's killers behind bars, more crazy details are making their way onto the internet, and the latest information shows that these guys were just amateurs. It turns out that Sean Gathright used a car that was easily tied back to him. It's like they were not even trying not to get caught. And to understand just how sloppy they were, this is how things went down. Isaiah Chance, Alicia Andrews, Sean Gathright, Davion Murphy, and Rashad Murphy traveled from Jacksonville to Tampa in two cars, a silver Chevy Cruze and a black Chevy Impala. Isaiah Chance and his girlfriend Alicia Andrews drove the silver Cruze and the black Impala registered under Sean Gathright's mother's name. Under the nigga mama name. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, I know y'all probably be like, all right, man, well, 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 he won, like, I'm saying, bro, first off, we don't slide out legal calls, legal calls, sliding out legal calls is stupid, it trades you back, and we, you know what I'm saying, it's just dumb, second, bro, this nigga got the nerve, bro, to slide out your own mama and call, bro, he got him nerve was driven by Gathright himself. The internet couldn't contain themselves pointing out how sloppy Fulio's killers were. These gotta be the world's dumbest criminals, dumbest. read one comment. Bro must hate his mom because why would you use your mom's car to go commit a murder? You gotta hate your mother, bro. Your mama gotta be the least person you like on this earth. Murder. This is insane, read another, but that's not the only dumb thing they did. They, they forgot that Tampa is littered with surveillance cameras. They were caught on 4K multiple times, Man, including during Fulio's Tesla, murder. Man. As they arrived in Tampa, the defendants began tracking their target. Fulio publicly announced his appearances at Teaser's Gentleman's Club and Truth18 Nightclub on his Instagram account. Chan that's why y'all never push y'all location until y'all from the location, you see what I'm saying? Don't push your location while you at the location. Don't push the pic, you know what I'm saying? I know it'd be like it's too tempting, but like, you know what I'm saying? St. Andrews followed Jones and his entourage in the silver Chevy Cruze to both locations. Surveillance camp. But pride is a thing, bro. Everybody be thinking like on something like, well, I ain't scared of no nigga. Woo, woo, woo. And then Fulo wasn't even ready. Cameras captured every move. At both Teaser's Gentleman's Club and Truth 18 Nightclub, Chance and Andrews got out of their vehicle. Chance was seen using a cellular phone, later revealed to be Alicia Andrews' phone. Call detail records showed Andrews was communicating with Sean Gathright's phone, who was in the second vehicle, the black Chevy Impala. The tension peaked as the defendants followed Fulio and his entourage to the final location, the home's two suites. The silver Chevy Cruze, driven by Isaiah Chance and Alicia Whoa. Andrews, made two passes by the victim's parked That's vehicle before leaving sure the scene. This on. signaled the black Chevy Impala, driven by Sean Gathright and carrying Rashad Murphy and Davion Murphy to move in for the kill. So Isaiah and his girlfriend didn't even shoot. They just by the victim's fast. parked vehicles before leaving the scene. This signaled the black Chevy Impala, and driven by Sean Gathright and carrying yeah, Rashad yeah. Murphy and Davion Murphy to move in for the kill. And you can see the shooters are getting in position for their planned out murder. And once That's they were great. in position, they opened fire, killing Fulio with a handgun and two rifles. Fulio's car sped off immediately after the shots rang out, That's but it great. was too late. And they are shooting at Charles now. And then say cheese interviewed the uh, dude that was driving the car. 
dude was 19 years old, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, bro, first off, it was just an interview just to, to, to find out what happened. I don't know why he act like he had cat about the man rap career and all that. He really didn't. But, uh, damn, so now I don't know what you're going to do. I mean, like, if y'all was in a situation where the bullets are oh, flying at and you, And you bro, can see that. Is you really, I'm, I probably would have swung that butt like right here, bro. He's the passenger in that car that's moving and trying to flee. The defendants thought they had executed the perfect plan, but underestimated modern surveillance technology's power. After the homicide, the group retreated to their Airbnb, booked from June 22nd to 24th. This Airbnb was equipped with a ring camera at the front door, capturing crucial footage of the defendants' movements. Following the murder, Isaiah Chance was seen stepping out briefly with a champagne flute in his left hand. Devion Murphy was seen carrying a bag in the parking lot and later returning through the front door passing the camera chance and get what they try to change their clues and shit nigga we own y'all at path right was seen passing the ring camera multiple times and their faces and actions were recorded in high definition alicia andrews was also seen leaving the airbnb wearing the same clothing she wore during the murder these that images were crucial true. in piecing together the timeline of events and identifying the suspects the investigation didn't stop there detectives used video surveillance footage to track sean gathright's movements after the homicide approximately 12 hours after the murder gathright arrived at a family member's house wearing all black clothing similar to to what was observed on surveillance That's video. Crazy. He went inside the house for a couple of hours and then returned outside around 18.30 hours. While speaking on a cellular phone, Gathright was seen wiping or cleaning the vehicle's exterior and interior door handles with a rag. He also transferred multiple bags into the garage where a 2004 Gold 4 Runner was located before leaving in the same 4 Runner. This car would prove to be the group's undoing as it led the feds to the killer's doorsteps in a few weeks. Gath it's crazy how they got on. Wright was arrested in the Forerunner a few days later, and rumor has it that he snitched on his accomplices because in less than a month, the cops were at the killer's doorsteps. Sean <laughs> Gathright snitched. Wait, he snitched? That's crazy. Snitches. Did Sean Gathright snitch on his accomplices? After they, you hear what went down three days head. after Fulio's murder, your mind will be blown. On June 26th, Jacksonville Sheriff's deputies observed a gold forerunner speeding through the streets of Jacksonville. The vehicle had dark tinted windows, making it difficult to see who was inside. The unmarked sheriff's vehicle activated its patrol lights, signaling the driver to pull over. The driver complied, and the vehicle came to a stop. Little did the deputies know this stop would lead them one step closer to solving the murder of Julio Fulio. The driver of the gold forerunner was identified as 18-year-old Sean Gathlin. That's not a good right. As the deputies approached the vehicle, they immediately detected the strong smell of marijuana emanating from inside. Sean, however, denied having or smoking any marijuana. Despite his denial, the deputies knew they had probable cause to search you the vehicle. Sean was asked to step out of the forerunner and stand at the back while the deputies thoroughly searched the vehicle. That's not a forerunner, bro. Vehicle. As they began their search, they discovered a small bag with marijuana residue and mushrooms. In the center console, they found a Glock 19, a semi-automatic pistol. The discovery of the firearm raised immediate red flags, but what they found next would be even more alarming. In the back seats of the Forerunner, deputies uncovered several bags of ammunition, along with firearm parts and accessories. The sheer quantity of ammunition and the presence of firearm components suggested that Sean was not just an ordinary teenager. The deputies knew they had stumbled upon something big. Sean was promptly arrested and taken into custody. He was transported to the Crime Gun Intelligence Center office for an interview. The deputies hoped that this arrest would yield valuable information that could help them crack the case wide open. Right, Although so released, Sean was arrested. And then, and then, and then, like, people like this, those guns, if they get caught and they match the gun that we used at the scene, he fucked. Barely 24 hours later at a local Jacksonville shopping center. Open the car door! Let me see your hands! Back up to the sound of my voice! Yep. Oh, they must Stop right there! Them again, Lift your shirt I mean, up! Uh, what I want or something. Turn! Do a 360! The same day, Jacksonville sheriffs received actionable intelligence that would change the course of the investigation. The information pointed to a conspiracy to commit murder, and Sean's arrest was the key that unlocked this new lead. Based on this intelligence... This nigga just dumb. I don't know why he... That's why I tell y'all, but don't think just because, like, you gotta be small to kill. The dumbest nigga could kill you. A search warrant was obtained and immediately executed. Detectives arrived at a home located on Jacksonville's north side. They had been informed that Isaiah Chance and Alicia Andrews were inside the home. The detectives surrounded the house and began giving verbal commands over a PA system. Isaiah Chance, this is a Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Like the Navy when in your hands. They called for the occupants to surrender for 15 to 20. And 
And she just wrong knowing she has set him up as well. They called for the occupants to surrender for 15 to 20 minutes. All right, go to your knees. They're going to do whatever their boyfriends tell them. Put your hands behind your back. Now turn around. And he and a nigga in a red, the red jacket. He was acting stupid during the rest. Y'all can watch the next, the last video is gonna be linked in what you call it. But he was acting like he ain't wanna listen. Like a nigga wanna go shoot him. Hey, back. The arrest of Isaiah and Alicia and the evidence found in Sean's vehicle marked a significant too. breakthrough. The detectives now had three suspects in custody, and the puzzle pieces started coming together. The investigation was far from over, but the relentless efforts of law enforcement were beginning to pay off. However, the story doesn't end there. The search continued for the remaining suspects shifting the focus to Rashad Murphy. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, with assistance from U.S. Marshals, tracked Murphy's movements, piecing together his whereabouts. Their efforts led them to the oh Collins God, Preserve Apartments before. in the Ortega like, area of Jacksonville. Old, A day after the first three suspects were arrested, SWAT units were deployed to the Collins Preserve Apartments. The SWAT team surrounded the apartment where Murphy was believed to be hiding, creating yeah. a perimeter to prevent any escape. Yeah. Reports showed that Rashad Murphy he had barricaded himself inside the house with a gun to his head on FaceTime with his girl and was refusing to surrender. After a tense standoff, Rashad Murphy surrendered just after midnight, ending the dramatic operation. Keep throwing! <laughs> But this wasn't the only drama in the case. Turns out that while in custody, Sean tried to make a run for it in the most hilarious way. According to police records, Sean was placed in an interview room and attempted to escape custody by climbing out through the ceiling. The defendant climbed onto a table and tried to remove the tiles from the room's ceiling. The drama keeps coming. And Man, get out of here, bro. You tried to escape through the fucking ceiling? Bro, you did a better job when you did the police open the door and trying to sneak out. You dumb. Look, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm be like Sean and get right, bro. This nigga did a lot of dumb shit, bro. I just like I'm just listening to it, like, damn, I ain't even believe it. that 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 mess dumb shit could be done. Yo, well, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure that new that subscribe and that like button. This is crazy. I did not know that. Sean get right. I know you snitch. Use your mama call you dumb. You know what I'm saying? It's a lie. You got called the guns, all that type. You just dumb.